At Big Data SV 2014 is brought to you by headline sponsors WAN Disco. We make Hadoop invincible. And Actian, accelerating Big Data 2.0. Welcome back, Jeff Rick here on theCUBE. We're at Big Data SV 2014 in the heart of Silicon Valley at the Hilton Santa Clara, just across the street from uh, Strata over at the uh, Santa Clara Convention Center. Back for another great segment. I've got with me this segment John Kreisa, VP of Strategic Marketing at Hortonworks, and Greg Kleiman, I think a first time, a first time on theCUBE, Director of Business Strategy at Red Hat. So welcome to welcome back. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. So let's just jump right into it. Big announcement a couple of days ago mm -hmm. of, uh, of a new relationship, new partnership. So yeah. why don't we jump in and, and dig into the meat of that? What, what did we announce two days ago? Sure, uh, and I'll start and Greg can go. It's uh, a deepening of our strategic alliance between uh, Hortonworks and Red Hat. We're super excited about this partnership and what it means for the enterprise in terms of their ability to uh, adopt uh, Apache Hadoop within their organization. Um, you know, three principal elements around that. We're uh, doing a bunch of joint engineering, all in the open. Um, we're going to have joint go-to-market activity and we're going to do collaborative support. So we're super excited about this partnership and you know, we can sort of drill into what that means. Yeah, so we, we also are very excited about this, being Red Hat's 100% open source uh, heritage. We're happy to partner with Hortonworks, which is also a 100% open source company, and to really bring Hadoop into the enterprise and to wrap around some uh, Red Hat enterprise technology to try to make it easier for large enterprises to adopt the Hadoop technology. And so that really appeals from the, the spectrum of users, from the analysts, the data analysts and the scientists, to the, um, to the application developers, uh, the operators who have to keep the infrastructure running, and the big data architects who have to bring all the data together for those uh, application developers. So is there a big hole that needed to be filled or is it just a strengthening of what was before? I mean, how is it actually going to make it easier for the guy sitting yeah. sitting waiting to implement some of these Great, tools? Great question and there's, there's work that had already been going on between Hortonworks and Red Hat before um, in terms of making Hadoop easier to deploy, for example, around OpenStack. Um, but this will, this will certainly strengthen through the engineering efforts of integration, for example, of Hortonworks Data Platform with JBoss. And so that deepened uh, uh, integration will make it easier for all the JBoss developers to create new applications, which is really one of the key use cases for Hadoop, creating net new analytic applications. So that, that engineering integration will um, make it easier for them to, to adopt that technology. And, and really, it's, it's not filling a hole so much as taking the platform to the next level and taking a, a comprehensive platform approach. Okay. Yeah, and so the, the JBoss uh, suite, the data virtualization product in particular, we did some certification with Horton DataWorks platform uh, to certify it. And what that allows us to do is to capture the data inside of HDP and combine it through virtualization with data sources outside. So more traditional SQL databases, OLTP systems, to bring the data up a level, combine the Hadoop data with the enterprise data, and then allow developers to write applications that can analyze data across all those data sets. Right. So it really enables developers and, and data scientists to now kind of take the next step and uh, to, the, to a new set of applications that they can now write against data that involves more than just to do. Okay, and what about on the business side in terms of go-to-market activities, um, mm -hmm. sales activities, uh, partner activities? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, you'll see, you'll see in the, the enterprise and market, we'll see a lot more joint go-to-market activities with, with Hortonworks, um, whether it's uh, reference architectures that we're building out to help the enterprise um, practitioners understand how the technologies work together and what the use cases are, um, but in addition, things like webcasts and, and other joint go-to-market activities that you know, will really ser serve to educate um, about, uh, about how these technologies work together, what the benefits are that the enterprise can, can gain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so one specific area where we will be jointly promoting is the OpenJDK capabilities. Mm -hmm. So that's something that's built into Red Hat Enterprise Linux today. Uh, and OpenJDK really allows developers to write applications that can be deployed across any, uh, any scenario. So physical, obviously on Enterprise Linux, but also in a virtual environment, and then also in a cloud environment. And as John mentioned, um, Red Hat and and um, Hortonworks have been working together upstream in the open source community, right. specifically OpenStack.org. Uh, around this, something called the Savannah Project, which is all about bringing Hadoop 
to OpenStack, to a cloud infrastructure, private cloud infrastructure, which basically allows enterprises to get all the, the greatness of Amazon EMR, Elastic MapReduce, except inside their private, their private firewalls. So that's a great capability. It, it, we really think that when that becomes available uh, later this year, that that'll really accelerate things for Hadoop, because now they'll have a very elastic infrastructure to run Hadoop on. Yeah, so I just want to follow up on that a little bit. So talk, Greg, about kind of the convergence between uh, maturation of the cloud, if you will, both private and public, and the growth of that as, as a preferred infrastructure to solve a lot of problems with the big data side and, and the Hadoop side, and, and kind of the one plus one makes three effect of that mm -hmm. happening. Yeah, no, we definitely view it that way. It's, it's definitely a one plus one equals three. Uh, we, we view big data and specifically MapReduce and, and Hortonworks data platform as kind of the killer app for the cloud, right? Because it's big, so it requires a very large infrastructure, but it's, it's really agile that, you know, the Hadoop and analytics market really needs agility. And so what that means is they need to be able to expand and contract on demand. And we think that that, that requirement for, from the users and the analysts and the developers down into the infrastructure, cloud is a great fit for that. And that's why we're excited to be working with Hortonworks upstream to, and then pull that down and make it supportable on Red Hat Enterprise Linux OpenStack platform. Right. So I know in, in putting partnerships together, it's mm -hmm. always best if there's a customer that's kind of driving it, or there's a sales opportunity that's kind of driving it. Was this driven by a particular use case or a particular customer? that was wanting, needing, requesting this, or was this just something more generically you saw in the marketplace that, that needed to be done to, to benefit both companies? So I'd say a little bit of both. I think both of us have, uh, we have a lot of joint customers where Hortonworks are, are working, and, and Red Hat obviously is the kind of standard for um, Linux and the enterprise. Um, so, you know, we've been certified on RHEL since the very beginning of having an offering, um, and so there's absolutely multiple customers. Now that said, just in terms of how we're seeing Hadoop being adopted, um, companies want to A, leverage the existing skills they have. They have lots of skills on JBoss and OpenJDK, and so this helps them further enable those skills. Okay. Uh, and so it's it's really taking up and picking up the, the emerging need around the enterprises and making sure that that is solid, enterprise grade, and, and ready to, to be adopted by the, by the market. Excellent. So we've talked a lot of talk here at the show about, you know, there's a lot less hoodies and sweatshirts and a mm -hmm. lot more uh, suits, and I'm wearing my tie in <laughs> reference to Dave Vellante, who had to fly back to Boston. Hi, Dave. Um, but I think almost more of like a pioneer analogy where, you know, there was a lot of early pioneers, and mm -hmm. the bad part, a lot of the pioneers get arrows in the back, and, and eventually the guys come through to build the infrastructure that mm -hmm. put, the, put the train in place. You know, right. what does this mean in terms of the maturation of Hadoop and big data in the enterprise right. and, you know, Hardening it, we are all kinds of, of mm -hmm. phrase about what does enterprise ready mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what does this mean in, in that evolution and how far down the path are we? Good question, yeah. start. So yeah, um, it's uh, I do think it's it's maturing. Um, and the fact that we're joining forces and we're both targeted on making Hadoop more enterprise ready. And it's in response to our customers, right? So we have lots of joint customers together, lots of people run HTTP on RHEL. Uh, and they've come to, and they come to both of us, um, either together or separately, and say, we're, we want to move this into the mainstream. We don't want it to be a silo anymore. Therefore, we need you guys to help us integrate it. Mm -hmm. right? And that's why the JBoss stuff is important. Uh, we also have a Red Hat storage initiative where we can do analytics in place on data inside of Red Hat storage. We built a plug-in upstream for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the infrastructure side, right? They, they're saying, we run on RHEL today, but we're moving towards the cloud. Can you bring Hadoop to the cloud for us? And so all of that is, is market and customer driven. And so I do believe that's a, that's a natural maturation, right? They, they look at their infrastructure, they look at Hadoop and they say, how can I bring this in? Because I don't want it to be a, a, an island, right? I need, it, I need to be able to manage it with my enterprise tools, I need to be able to run it on my enterprise infrastructure, and I want to use my existing developer tools. And that's exactly the three areas we're trying to address. Yeah, and I, I like your analogy. I think this this really is moving from the Wild West into more of a mature infrastructure. This is one of the things that's really laying those tracks and laying that groundwork. Um, and, and so, uh, and, and from our standpoint, you know, 2013, lots of companies really, you know, using proofs of concept and really building out their applications, kind of testing it. Now they really want to get it into production. It needs to be hardened enterprise grade, and you know that's that's one of the major benefits of this partnership. Yeah, that's great. So we're we're kind of wrapping down to the end of the mm -hmm. of um, of the show here. Mm -hmm. We're day three. 
Um, but I know both of you guys have big shows coming up, so mm -hmm. I want to give the uh, opportunity for a little plug for, uh, for Red Hat Summit. We're excited. The Cube, I think, is going to be at the Red Hat Summit for the very first mm -hmm. time. I think it's at Moscone, so we're, yep. uh, we're excited to be there. So what can people expect? Rush out and get registered. There's some <laughs> exciting uh, news things that we can expect from, uh, from Red Hat Summit. Give you a chance to give it a little plug. Sure. So we're excited about having the Red Hat Summit here on the West Coast, <laughs> for us West Coast <laughs> people, uh, be in, uh, in April, I think it's the 14th or so. Um, of uh, up in Moscone, as you said, and again, you'll you'll see a continuing of uh, of innovative solutions, both upstream and and supported in enterprise products in exciting areas like cloud. You see a lot happening on cloud, a lot happening on big data, um, as well as open hybrid cloud. So we'll continue to kind of move the move the the pendulum over and and move the the, the ball forward for enterprises. Mm -hmm. Great, and John, of course, you've had the cube at uh, sure. At the summit, many many times, yeah. we're excited to be back there again. I believe it's in June. Yes, so right. uh, again, I'll give you a chance, to give a little plug for uh, Hadoop Summit. Thanks. So yeah, Hadoop Summit in San Jose coming back. It's the eighth year of Hadoop Summit, so it's the oldest, largest um, Hadoop gathering. It's a place where you can go and get your serious geek on if you want <laughs> about uh, Hadoop. But to your point, there uh, is a little uh, less of the hoodie. Uh, type act, uh, activities, there'll be more um, business focused tracks. So it's really a little bit of something for everybody. If you want to learn, it'll be you know, three or 4,000 of our uh, closest Hadoop friends will be there. And I think it's going to be a great event. And that'll include Red Hat and others. Great. So as we come to the, the end of, of, of this show, Big Data SV 2014, what are kind of uh, your parting thoughts in terms of stuff you've seen outside of your own announcement, mm -hmm. obviously, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a little bit different than where this was uh, at Big Data NYC in October mm -hmm. as we've moved forward three or four months. And then what do we, what can we expect between now and Big Data NYC 2014 uh, in about six months from mm -hmm. now? Sure, so I mean, I've seen some just very interesting technologies over at the, the conference here. I would say that um, you know, it's more about the applications that are getting built than tools that sit on top of Hadoop. A lot of innovative, interesting little companies that are building things specifically to make Hadoop uh, easier to use in a variety of kind of targeted areas. I think we'll see more of that. I had some conversations with folks about, you know, applications that they were building to meet specific industry needs, healthcare and, and others. Um, so I think that is really the trend. It's, it's making, you know, now that the platform is more cementing itself, applications will be built on top of that and we're just going to see more of that evolve in this year. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that there will be a lot of excitement around the application development environment. Um, Red Hat, we're going to be working towards with Hortonworks towards things like OpenShift, where we can move it up even a level up to a platform as a service. Uh, there'll be some innovation down at the infrastructure level as we make the transition over to cloud. So that'll be exciting later this year as well. Great. So I'll give you I'll give you the the the, the John uh, the John challenge that he's on here. If you had to wrap it up in a bumper sticker, as we drive away on Highway 101, mm -hmm. what would it be for this show? Uh, for the show, I'd just say Hadoop is ready for the enterprise to adopt and put into production. Yeah, no, right. I would, I would act say same thing. Well, come on, you got to come up with a new bumper sticker. Right? <laughs> right. I, can't, I can't let you uh, off that easy. Let's see. <laughs> How about um, you know, go faster, spend less, uh, do more. That's all good. That's go. all great. All Super. Right. Well, Greg and John, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Uh, no really Thank exciting you. announcement. It'll be, it'll be fun to review in a couple months, both at your show at the Red Hat Summit, as well as Hadoop Summit, as well as Big Data NYC 2014. Yep. You know, what's the, been the progression? How are enterprising adop uh, enterprises adopting it, taking advantage of this opportunity to move the ball forward? So again, thanks for coming on. Great. Thank uh, you. Jeff Rick thanks here at Big Data SV, day three, wall-to-wall -wall coverage, extracting signal from the noise, as we like to do, get the smartest guys we can find, bring them on the Cube, ask them the questions that you'd like like to ask him if you were here and get the answer. So we'll be right back with our next guest in just a minute.